Now let's look at the idea of denial of service. This is a video from Symantec. It's a little bit advertising, but um, I think it actually is, does a really good job of not only going over some concepts that you've learned before in this class, and I, actually I would like you to notice in these videos how much you actually know and how much you've learned in this class that allows you to look at something like this and not be learning for the first time what it's saying, but instead have it reinforce concepts that you already know, particularly in this one, the concept of the network itself and how information passes through the network. Quick guide to scary internet stuff number six. Denial of service attacks. The internet, it's just a big filing system, a really big filing system. And all the files are stored in a thing called a server. It's just like a filing cabinet, a really big filing cabinet. And there are lots of them all over the world. Anyone can have one, big or small companies or a government agency, like your local school or hospital. It's where they keep all their important documents and their websites. Here's how it works. Every time you want to look at a web page, you send the server a polite request. And it sends you the web page. Simple. So simple that scary internet bad guys like to take advantage of it. They choose a server to attack and start making requests. Lots of requests. So many requests that the server can't keep up and eventually it stops working altogether. Then no one can see anything that's stored on it. It's called a denial of service attack and it's bad, bad news. news. Because sometimes the things on servers are really important. And the super scary thing is to mount a successful attack, a scary internet bad guy needs an army. Not a normal army, a zombie botnet army, and that's you. They can take over your computer and turn it into a zombie and make it do their evil work. So, if you want to help put a stop to this sort of thing, first take a look at Symantec's other guides to scary internet stuff, especially the one on botnets. It'll explain how you can end up being part of a zombie botnet army. And then, to make sure your computer stays under your control, install some top-notch security software, like Norton Internet Security or Symantec Endpoint Protection. Anyway, thanks for listening.